We woke up in southern Florida, Everglades City, to a beautiful sunrise. Oh, wow. In the morning. I bet you guys slept really well. <laughs> We're not you gay. Out of the I have a girlfriend, I promise. <laughs> I don't have a girlfriend. These are my favorite kind of mornings, when we all wake up at the crack of dawn to watch the sun hang out. No. Just goof around and enjoy each other's company. I think that's what it's all about. A lot of people ask what our favorite place is, but... Every answer we give is that it's the people you're with and not the place you're at. The people is what makes a place worth staying at and it's what makes it interesting and adds all that to it. After that, we packed up camp and hit the road. Alright, let's throw a rock at it, eh? No, no, no. Do it. No balls. Fresh gator. Luke going in. Before going back to the boat, we stopped by, I think it's Cypress National Forest. There's this one road that has so many alligators on it. And us being the Whitaker clan, we decided to drive on it and check it out. Luke never did end up touching one, he poked one. But I did touch it, I swear, nobody got it on film, but it did happen. We stopped by a Starbucks to get some editing in, and then it was actually the solar eclipse. I heard it. Dude, my one hurt so You guys bad. are staring at it too long. Oh. It's low-key black, like, <laughs> dude. Oh. No. We are in Florida, so we didn't get a complete eclipse, but it was still pretty neat. Next order of business is getting our advanced open water certificate. And that is what me and Luke and Kate are doing right now. It's gonna be good, we got four dives to do today, and this is the first one, before the first one. We just got on the boat, loaded all our gear up, and it's gonna be a whole lot of fun. Let's do it! So the first dive we're gonna be doing is a wreck dive. It's gonna be about 100 feet deep dive, and then the second one might be a deep dive or a reef dive, and then the last two are gonna be night dives. And that's gonna be a lot of fun. So I'm taking you guys with me. You're gonna see what it's all about. The first dive was really cool. It was the wreck dive, like I said. I'm testing out my new selfie stick, like the tourist I sometimes am. It's pretty deep, 33 meters, which equates to about 110, 115 feet. Next dive was a little more mellow on a reef. Me and Luke had a good time. Kate was up ahead with Jorge. They were buddy divers. Me and Luke were buddy divers. We saw a lot of reef fish here and there. This isn't the best reef I've ever swam on, but it was pretty cool nonetheless. As you can see, we were able to swim inside of the ship. This is the engine you're looking at right now. We're in the engine room. And it has been repurposed to a fish sanctuary, apparently. It's pretty cool. I like diving in these ships like this. It's, you know, puts you on edge, gives you a little anxiety. There was this very tight corridor we had to go through. Once it was my turn to go through, I had the camera and the light, so it was pretty difficult for me to get through. You can see here I'm going pretty slow, struggling to get through, but once I do, it opens up to what I believe is the stern of the ship. It might be the chain locker, the anchor room, pretty sure it's the stern. After that, we were out and on to the next dive. The next dive was a reef dive. We saw a lot of fish and most importantly, we played with this puffer fish here. I've never seen one puff up like this. 
but it was pretty fun. Luke was too scared to grab one like that. Don't worry, no fish were harmed in the making of this. Now, one of the things that you don't think about too often when living on a boat is that you don't ever usually wear shoes. Now, I know some of you weird guys in the comments who watch my videos, you're gonna be replaying that part. Watch that part right there of me walking be the most replayed part in the video. You don't often wear shoes, and if you do, it's flip-flops. Like right now, since we're going places and we're going out, I wear flip-flops all the time. But when we're on anchor, we're at an anchorage and we're doing stuff, you just don't wear shoes and you become accustomed to that. It makes me feel weird talking about feet on my channel. <laughs> so now some of you guys out there, you like it a little too much and it's very concerning. It is. So let's talk about something I know you guys are curious about. Is Miss Kenzie gonna come with me to Tonga? Kenzie, are you coming to Tonga? No, I'm not. <laughs> she is Unfortunately. not. Unfortunately. Well, why not? Well, because it just doesn't doesn't work out. It I'm doesn't. Gonna go there. She's gonna stay back. She's gonna work. I'm gonna work and do my thing. I'll be waiting for him when he gets back. I'm trying no. to figure out where I go. Yep, go straight. Yeah, I know. I completely failed to mention why she's unable to go. Basically, Tong is full, and there's there really wouldn't be a spot for her there. As much as I would like her to go, it just wouldn't work out. So we're gonna be doing our own thing for six months. And I think the six months will be the real testing time in our relationship mm -hmm. to decide if it's legit or... <laughs> if it's not legit. If it's not legit. It'll, uh, it'll be good, it'll be good. It'll be good for the both of us. Big burrito. <laughs> gonna fly away. I'm getting I know. You hold that? I'll go grab some. Fly away. I hope not. Okay. I think we switch places because the wind is blowing that way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know I said something some time ago about wanting to start a uh, podcast video type thing on this channel. And I think now would be a good time to talk about one of those things that I wanted to talk about. Which is the kids these days. Because here at this Chipotle, there's a bunch of high schoolers. They just got out of school and here is the first place that they came. I just feel bad because I know shows like Euphoria and Game of Thrones and or well maybe not Game of Thrones, but I know Euphoria was a big trending show. And there's another one. It's like Saltburn, I think. Yeah. I've only seen one episode of Euphoria. I was like, okay, I'll watch the show. I'll give it a try. I watched one episode. Me too. <laughs> and the only consensus I came about with that show was that it's just demonic. Yeah. It's the only word I could figure out. Mm -hmm. I could define it. It's demonic. Like where's where's God? We're immorals and standards and more importantly good parents parenting what happened to that and discipline anyways that's all i wanted to talk about now that we're done at chipotle me and kins and kate are gonna go for a little swim at the beach at the beach You know, now that we're at a marina for a long time, we've been having to go to the beach to slay our lust of the ocean. You know, that's one thing with filming and such is that I always gotta sit back, let them go, film it, and then go. But that looks really fun, so I think I'm gonna go jump in. Mm. Mm. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I will see you hopefully next week. I might take a week off, but I'll see you next week. Thank you for watching. Bye. Ah! <laughs>